Join me on a bunch of different fishing trips. During this film, I will show and tell you about how I fish and maybe even teach you a thing or two. This is a big brackish inlet we're fishing and um, I have some ideas of where I think the fish are but I don't know exactly where they are, what depth, what area. So um, we're doing sort of a real searching type fishing where we're trying fishing the fly fairly fast and, and trying to cover a lot of water. How you maneuver your boat is really important when you're fly fishing and it's a real luxury to have a, a trolling motor like this that you can control with the remote. But another real effective way to, uh, to cover a lot of water in just any old regular boat is using a drift sock. You can uh, buy one fairly inexpensive. You can even, if you're real cheap, you can make your own out of, out of a big blue IKEA bag. And the drift sock slows you down so we can drift slow enough to, to fish the fly. But we're moving all the time, so we're really covering a lot of water and trying to figure out where the fish are. If you're somewhere where you know they're going to be right here on a specific ledge or a specific spot, then you can anchor up and fish that. But when you're doing like we are now, we're more kind of searching, trying to find the fish, and the drift sock is great for that. And if I do find some fish, I'll put the anchor down, um, probably while I fight the fish, and then I'll, have, I'll be in the same spot and I can fish it through while I'm still on the anchor to see if there's more fish in that area. Depending on how big an area you're fishing, you can kind of put together a pattern to, uh, to cover a lot of water. And right here we're fishing from shore to shore and then drifting across, across slowly with the wind and the drift sock. And then we'll move down a little bit and try again just a little bit further down. So that way we motor back through the area where we've already fished and then we drift over a completely new fresh area where there hasn't been fished and there hasn't been any boat moving either. be real effective to fish kind of a zigzag pattern where you motor through where you've already fished and then drift through a new area so you're constantly covering fresh fresh areas where you haven't been with the boat. Is that a fish? Just the weeds. So you're constantly covering a fresh area. Oh yeah, nice strike. That's a good looking pike. Let's see. Got him on the reel now. He's a strong fellow. But I'm not complaining, don't get me wrong. Yeah, nice. A 
Nice, well built, strong fish. Perfect condition. Not a fatty, but strong. Got a little cut from the pike, but uh, that doesn't bother me. If my get fingers get scarred up, that means it's been a good day. And that pike here, we've been catching a few smaller pike on sort of a more naturalistic green color uh, fly. And as we drifted up towards this line here, the water's more turbid up towards the shore and, and, and it's a lot more dirty, a lot more, uh, a lot less visibility. And uh, I switched to, uh, to this flash fly. It's still sort of a fish imitation that has a real fishy profile. It's got the eyes, but uh, it lights up a lot better here in the darker water. go oh that was a nice take oh, 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 oh. oh he's off he's off oh this place just looked fishy and it was get the anchor out Decent sized fish. Came up right sideways right as he took it. That looked cool. 